Hi everyone, Rob, the Average Long Guy. Thanks for tuning in. It's go time for almost everyone around the country. It's time to put out your pre-emergent. If you're here down south like me, you need to put out your second application of pre-emergent. I did a video recently on how I apply the liquid pre-emergent and that's totally a personal preference. But put down your second application right now. I'm telling you right now, if you put down a pre-emergent, it's going to prevent a lot of the problems, a lot of the issues you're going to see throughout the whole entire growing season. So remember, down south, we put down two applications of pre-emergent. For most people up north, you're going to start coming to your window and putting down your first pre-emergent. So remember, down south, we put down a pre-emergent to prevent weeds. The best way to get rid of weeds is to prevent them. This is going to take care of the majority of your problems. Now we're going to take a look at my lawn. You can see here, I scalped it down to one inch. I was able to bring it down just a little bit more, but it's still about one inch. I'm getting about 40 to 50% green growth right now. Let's take a closer look. Here's a closer look at the lawn. Not too bad. Again, I still have dormant Bermuda, but as the new growth starts to kick in, you're gonna see all this dormant Bermuda start to fade away. But if you dig in deep, you can see we got a little bit of thatch and matted grass. Not a big deal. Now, two ways to take care of this. You kind of just take the rake, the back side of the rake, and just kind of break it up so it breaks down easily. But over time, this will go away as the weather starts to warm up. Also, core aeration will help speed this along and get rid of this very quickly. I have these rain marks here and there, but I'm not worried about that. This happens every single year. But you can see a pre-emergent pretty much stops most weeds from coming in. It is not a perfect fix. It's not going to stop all weeds. You look closely here. I have a weed right here. But it's so small. I just pull it. Again, I don't have the perfect lawn. There are weeds every now and then. But for the most part, you can see I'm starting to have good green up. Here's a bigger view of the lawn. Over here I'm gonna edge and mulch. I'll do a video on that. Gonna re-mulch right here. Gonna take care of the weeds along the fence. Definitely a video on that coming up. You can see the azaleas are starting to bloom right over here. Everybody has a weak spot in the lawn. My weak spot is over here. I'll tell you how I deal with that in a coming video. But not bad. One week after scalping. So as I mentioned before, put out your second application of pre-emergent. And if you haven't put out a pre-emergent yet, oh my goodness, you need to put it out yesterday. Work on putting out a pre-emergent. If there's one thing that I can do to the lawn right now for the entire year, it's just put out a pre-emergent. That's how important it is. You don't want your lawn to go looking like this. This is a Bermuda lawn that's fully infested with weeds. Now you can't see the Bermuda because it's mostly taken over by weeds. You don't want your lawn to look like this. Put out a pre-emergent and if you have weeds, still put out a pre-emergent. You will stop the bleeding and prevent any more weeds from coming in. You can deal with the current weeds you have at a later date. Just put out your pre-emergent. And just to be clear, the reason why we put out a second application of pre-emergent, whether it's granular or liquid, is because you want to provide that overall coverage. You see, in the first application, you may have missed some spots. And on top of that, some of it may have worn off already. 
so that second app will provide a better coverage and fill in those gaps you may have missed. Remember, you don't have to do liquid pre-emergent. You can do granular. You can do a Lesco 007, you can do a Sunnyland 007, you can choose whatever brand you like. I'm not particular about brands. I just use whatever is more effective and more cost effective. So put out your pre-emergent, I cannot stress this enough. So this is a super quick video today, but I have another video coming out this week on flower bed maintenance on how I maintain my flower beds and planted new flowers. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you found this video useful and tune to these videos right here on pre-emergent application. With that, thanks for watching. Take care.